Hey now, what is up everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and I just got done <laughs> watching Underwater. Underwater is a 2020 film, and if you're wondering why in the hell did you decide to watch Underwater? Well, what the hell else am I going to do? I, we're all living in quarantine. We, we don't have any new movies being released anytime soon. Theaters, at least in my area, are closed. I'm desperate. I'm looking for new content, new material. And this movie came out uh, back in January. <laughs> so there's no way that this could suck, right? This film is starring uh, Kristen Stewart as Nora and you see that she's a part of this team who are going underwater to a part of this drilling project and until they find out that there's something worse down underwater and uh, they're trying to survive they're trying to tell whether or not this is like an earthquake or maybe something worse a creature of some sort Oh, why am I pretending? Why am I acting like this could somehow be good? This movie wasn't good. It wasn't. Now, was it horrible? Was it a steaming, stinking pile of crap? No, I wouldn't go that far. It just... It was lame. It was boring. It was very much a been there, done that type of film. It's directed... I should mention this, directed by William Eubank. I don't know who in the hell he is, but I feel like he's seen Alien one too many times. Because he clearly was emulating Alien, clearly emulating really any survival horror film that you've seen with a group of characters who are confined in a space like this. These characters are in this, I don't want to say submarine, I don't know how else to describe it. It's it's an underwater ship, I guess. Maybe that's easier. And they're trapped underwater. They have the dangers of not only either drowning, being underwater, but whatever is out there. You don't know what it is, but it is a creature. It does look like an alien, but because they're underwater, I don't know if they're aliens. Maybe they're just monsters, creatures, mutations. Who the hell knows? The movie never really tells you flat out. Kristen Stewart, I do like her. I do. I do. I know there are still some people who shit on her because of the Twilight movies, and I admit she's not great in the Twilight movies, but almost everything that I've seen her in since that, or or besides those films, I do think she's good. This movie, I, I do buy her in this role where, you know, she might not look like the toughest person, and, and she has her own insecurities, and, and in, in things that she doesn't know if she could fight through, but she does end up doing that. She does become brave. She does end up becoming a fighter. So I guess I just appreciate, you know, some people might be sick of that strong female character that can do anything and, can, and that can persevere. But when it comes to certain actresses that I think can pull it off, it works. And you know what? I'll give Kristen Stewart the credit there. Uh, other actors in the movie, John Gallagher Jr., who I've seen in a bunch of stuff. Uh, he's fine. He doesn't get a whole lot to do, especially towards the end. It's kind of like, well, there you go. He's just kind of here. Uh, his girlfriend in the movie, though, Emily, is played by Jessica Henwick. And I was looking at her thinking, man, she looks really familiar. I couldn't really place my finger on it until I looked her up and saw that. Oh, yeah. She plays Colleen Wing in the Iron Fist TV show. What a winner there! I won't hold that on her, though, because I think she's a good actress. She was good on that show, the best part, probably, of that show. And she was good in this movie. In the beginning, she was a little nervous or, or, or you know, petrified to do anything. And I guess you can't really blame her. But over time, she too gained the courage to do what she needed to do to try to survive. Vincent Castle plays Lucian. He's sort of the captain, the leader of the group, um, uh, the older character. 
And T.J. Miller, of course, he's the comic relief. You pretty much get what you expect out of him. I don't dislike T.J. Miller. I don't always find him funny, but he, he was fine here. He did what he had to do. I also thought, though, wow, 2020, and we're seeing a movie with T.J. Miller in it because he's had a lot of issues in the last couple years with, like, doing things in public. I remember he attacked somebody on the train. I think he has a drinking problem. I don't know. I've, I've read some stuff where I didn't quite know where his personal life was headed. And then I looked into the, into the production of this movie. And I realized that, or I read, that this film was first shot in 2017. <laughs> Which makes sense because Kristen Stewart, if you see her today present day her hair is about probably shoulder length it's a lot longer than what you see in this movie this movie it's it's really really short almost down to like her head so you think wow wait they shot this three years ago why did it come out now why was it delayed for all this time and i couldn't find it on wikipedia there wasn't a real reason why i can only surmise that the movie isn't good so the studio pushed it for as long as they could. They finally released it in January because I guess you need to see something in January, even though I didn't see it. I was too busy seeing movies like Doolittle. Yay! Anything else come out in January? Oh yeah, Bad Boys for Life was pretty good. So this movie, yes, you see this monster, this creature that I'm talking about. Uh, I think the fact that it was underwater maybe made it look better than what it normally would. Uh, the budget was like $50 million, so I think for what they had, the creature looks decent. Uh, the effects of it anyways, the design of them, it's a cross between the, the alien design and maybe a little bit of that female alien from Attack the Block. Uh, I could probably list a couple of uh, other things. The Cloverfield Monster, uh, the Edge of Tomorrow aliens. Like it, it, Looking at this alien, it didn't feel original. It, it definitely felt like something I've seen before. Obviously, plot-wise, like I said, uh, um, a lot of this movie feels like the paint-by-numbers. Even when characters get killed off one by one, you just kind of go like, yeah, well, that's kind of how it's supposed to go. <laughs> Not really a surprise, and especially the characters that they do decide to get killed off, it's not surprising. The very first character that we see get killed off is the black guy. <laughs> and I went, God damn, really? And he dies kind of in one of the most brutal ways. Like, it's, just, it's the first maybe ten minutes, and they kill the black guy. Because why not? Because it's a horror movie, and and we're trying to do a throwback to Alien, even though y Yafet Koto survived a lot longer than a lot of the other characters in that Alien movie. In any event, I, I I think this movie, it 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 tries to sort of reinvent the wheel, at least with that that same survivalist plot that you've seen. It tries to do something new with. Being underwater, it, it tried. It tried. Again, I didn't hate this movie. I was just bored. I didn't feel a whole lot for the characters other than me liking some of the actors just as the actors, not as the characters. We didn't get a whole, whole lot of background to them, at least enough for me to latch on to. The very end of the movie, not going to get huge, crazy spoilers into it, but yeah, there's a big, huge, giant, Cloverfield-sized monster there. And that design looked bad. That CGI looked bad. And what they did at the end, I just wasn't... Again, it felt cliched. felt like, well, that's that's the way these go. So, yeah, I, if, if I had to rate the film, since it is a newer movie, I would give it... Uh, a Netflix and chill. Oh, yeah. And that's me being super positive if you guys say that this movie sucked and was horrible and if you think it deserved more of a rant i don't blame you i won't argue that i just can't pretend like i hated it more than i did i just kind of it's okay to have on in the background maybe <laughs> anyways guys let me know in the comments below if you two just was so bored out of your mind that you also saw underwater what did you think of it thanks for watching like comment subscribe Later!